Okay, here we have a swing analysis for Tyler. Uh, this is a live pitch situation tonight during a game. Uh, he was already fairly deep in the count, so he's kind of in protect the plate mode here. He's, uh, I believe he's already got two strikes on him. He's fouled off a pitch. Um, so it's definitely uh, the count's leaning towards the pitcher at this point. Um, here's a stance. Uh, everything looks okay here. A little bit more weight on the back foot than the front. Um, Everything's looking good. Let's take this walk through his swing now. Okay, here we see start of the stride, which Tyler actually comes back and then goes forward. The bat has come from high down into the launch position. Uh, one thing that you'll notice here is as he goes through his stride, this front arm starts straightening out uh, a bit prematurely. Uh, and he'll carry that through through this whole swing as you watch the swing progress. Stride, front arm bars. Okay. Now when the heel hits the ground, which will be the next frame here, that signals the init initiation of the swing. So heel hits the ground, hips rotate. We have a barred front arm, which is, is placing a very large gap here in between you know the bat and his body giving him a very long swing um, if he were able to uh, to keep that front arm bent as he rotated he'd be able to put a lot more velocity on the bat and a lot more whip to it as well uh, but here we go he's planted the front foot hips start rotating hips get rotated very good he's got a good amount of torque between his shoulders and his hips as you can see the shoulders are almost square to us while his hips are full turn uh, that's that's a good amount of torque and, and a, a wide angle there, which is is great to see. Um, you don't see that in every player be able to uh, to torque that much. Okay, now here's where you'll start seeing the effects of that barred front arm really take shape. Um, one sign of it is also for this back elbow to kind of pinch under, uh, and you'll see it in the next few frames here, to where we have a barred front arm, we have a back elbow that is now up under the front arm so actually if you drew a line here his back elbow is uh, actually a little bit in front of his front elbow almost um, this is not a very strong position to be in here um, you just don't have a lot of movement here mobility it's not a natural position it's not a very athletic position if that front arm was bent the bat was still attached to the shoulder and this back elbow was kind of more towards the hip, you'd be in a lot more athletic position. Uh, as we step through here, some good things that are happening here. Hips full rotated. That's great to see. This front leg goes from bent to rigid. It's not locked, but it is in a very rigid position here. The back foot is rotating. Uh, he's not quite getting as much weight shift to front as I would like to see, but there definitely is some as this toe turns up. You can definitely tell there's not much weight on this back leg, which there shouldn't be. It should all be on the front leg now uh, in this part of the swing. Um, it's hard to tell in this dirt. I know it's sandy there at home plate as to how much weight he's actually got off of this. If they're on a hard clay, you'll actually see the toe kick up off the ground a little bit. Um, but we get full rotation there. Here we are just before, just at contact. Actually, we're a little after contact here. But this is a good place to stop. Um, you'll see the back toe straight up and down. That's perfect. The front side is closed a little bit, probably 45 degree angle, almost pointing towards first base. Uh, the rear thigh straight up and down. The body straight with just a very slight rear, rearward tilt, which, uh, which is good. Uh, he squares up on this ball fairly nicely here. Um, you'll see that the, the path of the bat is in line of the ball. So he's definitely swinging level to the ball. Um, so that, that's, that's really good to see. The bat comes down. The ball enters. Actually, the ball is right here right now. So you can see the line going from the bat to the ball. And his bat's in the strike zone for quite a long time. Okay. Uh, one thing that happens here at contact and it's interesting, and you'll see this a lot in players, as soon as contact is made, the hips start coming back this way. The swing itself completely stops. Um, actually, he hits and the hands 
come into his body rather than a, a full follow through and a full shoulder rotation. You'll actually see that after contact he rotates back towards us which uh, isn't really what you want to see. I know he's trying to get out of the box here but uh, and, and you know this is in a, a game situation so he's trying to get on base but after contact I'd like to see him finish that swing uh, at least a little more than he is now. Um, you also notice that directly after contact the wrist go into a roll and uh, you don't really want to see a wrist roll quite that early you want to see him hit a good power V um, out here in front of him first you can actually see as I walk through the frame here you can see how the swing just kinda stops the momentum of the bat itself carries the bat around a little further but the hands and the shoulders and the hips are done and here we are off to first base for a base hit. Let's run through it full speed here. I'll give you a couple of different views of it. Okay, here's a slow motion view. Okay. And here is a frame by frame view so you can kind of get a look of, of what you, whatever you want to look at. Okay, and that concludes the swing analysis.